Hey guys, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my April planner update to share with you. And as always, if you're new, a planner update is when I walk through my planner at the end of every month. I show you how I use the planner for that month and if there's anything I want to change going forward. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, I am still using my Follow Your Heart cover, but I have been thinking about changing it. I think I'm going to change it after I film this video. I'm ready for a summery cover, even though spring is just getting underway here in the Northeast. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I'm still using this cover, and it is bulging a lot. But let's go ahead and flip right into April. I did use my notes page this month and I ended up with a spring cleaning list and this is really helping me. I'm still using it now, but what I did is I focused on two rooms, my bedroom and my bathroom and the hallway in front of the bathroom. And what I did was I broke each room up into very small sections that I could focus on in a few hours or in a day long project. So for example, my closet was I don't want to say a day long project, but probably three to four hours it took me to really go through my entire closet, declutter all of the items that I didn't want anymore, and then reorganize the whole thing. And I've done that with a bunch of different areas of my room. My bathroom and hallway area is actually all done, which is awesome. So that's really been helping me out. If you're struggling with spring cleaning, this is a great way to go about it. If you just focus on very small areas and knock them out in a day or in half a day, you'll feel a lot better. This month's color scheme is a mustard yellow and the quote on this page is sometimes the best thing you can do is not think, not obsess, just breathe. And flipping right over into my monthly calendar, I used it the same way I do every single month. And this is a blog and video planner. I think I'm going to do an entire video on this some point in the future. Basically what I do is I use page flags and plan out all of my blog posts. And then once the blog post or video is scheduled and ready to go, I will put down a sticker. I use the Erin Condren event stickers that you get in the back of the planner. But as you can see, these little skinny yellow ones are different. And these are from the Recollections brand at Michael's. I'm going to do a comparison video, I think, pretty soon as well, just to show you the differences between them, not just in size, but in the material and how they work and what I think of them. So if that sounds interesting, let me know in the comments. I blocked off the month of March using this washi tape from the Washi Tape Crafts book. And the decorative stickers are all from the Erin Condren monthly sticker book. As always, I created a shopping list over here on the side. I'm trying to get a really good grasp on my makeup collection lately, and I'm keeping a running tally of everything that I want to get in the future. So for example, I want another highlighter, but I don't need to buy it right now. I would like to get another eye primer, but I can get it down the line. So this is just a running tally of everything that I'm going to want to purchase for my makeup collection in the future. Let's go ahead and move right into my weekly spreads. If I have a plan with me for each spread, I will list it with an I card right at the top. This is my jungle theme spread and I really, really love how this turned out. I used the It's a Jungle Out There sticker book and a weekly kit from Allie's Planner Hood and I think it came out really well. I also want to mention quickly that I have been working really hard to have really detailed and easy to use description boxes in each of my videos for you guys. So if you ever wonder where I get a sticker, make sure to head to the description box. I list the shop name, I have a link to the shop, and I also have a link to the haul video where I got the stickers so you can see the entire sheet of stickers there. So make sure to check out the description box. I work hard to make sure they are easy to use for you guys. Going back to my jungle theme spread, I think it came out really well. I love the colors together. They worked well with the monthly colors and it just looks super, super cute. This was in celebration for my nephew's birthday and I think it came out well. Moving right ahead, we have my spring birdies theme and this is definitely my least favorite layout of the month. I really don't like how these side columns came out, but I'm not mad that I did it because Here's the thing about planning. We can change up our styles at any time to see if we can find something that works better for us. Sometimes it's going to work better. Sometimes it's not, and that's completely okay. So I'm glad that I gave it a try because now I know that I don't want to do that anymore. I still love the bright colors, and I love all the little birdie stickers. So this wasn't a complete loss. It just wasn't my favorite spread. 
Moving right along, I have my rainbow spread, which is definitely one of my favorites for this month. Rainbow spreads are a great way to use up stickers from kits, and they're also super easy to put together because all you need is a bunch of different stickers. They just have to be from the right color family. I also used a lot of washi tape, which has been one of my goals lately, so I have washi separating each day. I created some full boxes out of washi, and then I used washi whenever I had sort of a white space look, so that was awesome. Rainbow spreads are always going to look good, so even if you don't have matching stickers in each of the colors, it'll still look great in the end. And finally, I have my Shabby Chic spread, which unfortunately I don't have a Plan With Me video on. I was hoping to film a Plan With Me, but I just didn't have time, and wouldn't you know, this is my favorite spread of the month. I think it came out so beautiful, and I'm really sad that I don't have a video for it, but let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about this spread. All of the decorative stickers come from my Pipstick subscription. I've tried to find it on Amazon or online anywhere and I haven't been able to find it, but I will try to find something similar and link it for you guys below. The weekly kit is from Allie's Plannerhood. It is the Dreaming and Daisy kit and I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. It has a gorgeous floral background and the colors worked perfectly with the April monthly colors. Of course, I added in stickers from other shops. My Hydrate is from Love Lindsay Paper Co. My Habit Trackers are from Oh Hello Stationery Co. Then I have some from Caitlin & Co. Designs as well. And this little icon is from Hello Ashley Ann. So I have a lot going on here, and I just think it came together so beautifully. But that is going to be it for my April Planner update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Definitely let me know in the comments what your favorite spread for the month of April was in your planner. I would love to know. And you guys can always use the hashtag PlanWithPolishLand on Instagram or on any social media so I can see your posts. I really want to see how you guys are using your planner because it keeps me inspired and I love being a part of the community.